Welcome to another tier list where this time we are rating every Tower of God character that's relevant in Season 1. Here are the categories. We got Peak. You know what Peak means. You got Great, Good, Mid, and finally, the Rachel tier. Starting up, we have Mr. Akryong or Ghost. Ghost is... He's a menacing person, for sure. Imposing person, but he never had any lines. And the only moment that I really liked him was when he was having that chocolate eating contest with Rack. Then unfortunately, he disappears for the sins of Rachel. Ah, he's a good character. I mean, there's nothing, you know, he didn't do anything special. He just kind of existed. He was just a tool, a literal tool given by head on to Rachel to kind of climb the tower. You know, unfortunate that he was, you know, unfortunate he had to go because of Rachel's own faults, but I'll put him in the good tier. Anak. I think that Anak is a great character. Anak, his whole story of, you know, fake princess and the whole backstory with mom. Okay, the backstory with mom was actually so messed up. Because, like, if you think about the backstory with mom, Anak would be like, Mommy, I like it when you and daddy gets into fight because after you beat his ass, he makes me chicken pie. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? But uh, other than that, like, Anak was a wholesome character that just turned so dark and edgy because of the betrayal in the past and then start to open her heart up more to the rest of the crew like Hats, Shibisu, right? And Dorsey, they're like a wholesome sibling now. I think that she's a great character. I think that there's this feisty moments of the green April moments, you know. She was very... She needed to be corrected in the first half and then later on, she became a character that even cried for a bomb at the end. So I think her character development was fantastic. Great tier. Mr. Neon Bag. Mid? Like, this dude only existed to tip off other characters in that first test with Yu Han Sung, where you pick a red door. He went around. He's not a real character. He just... I mean, he helped us, but then in the anime, he also was being like a piece of shit and just like insulting Blue Turtle's character. I'm gonna put him in mid. He's just like... I'm gonna put him in mid because the neon bag is the same color as mid here. You get you get mid for that, Mr. Neon Bag. Bam! Mr. 25th of Bomb. Um I don't know where to put him. Usually main characters I don't really like. It's not that I dislike main characters. I just focus on the side characters more because the main character is supposed to just always win and go pursue. Um his character, I despise his character. Straight up, like, I, I I, genuinely am upset about his character. And it makes sense why he's like that, right? He's like a lost puppy that finally sees the first thing that he sees when he, you know, in, in the rubbles, it's Rachel, latches onto her like, she's her master, it's like my mom or dad. She teaches me everything, you're my god. All he's doing is panting and chasing over Rachel. That aspect, I understand why he's like that, but I hate that he's like that. And I understand for the sake of story development, the character development, later on, maybe he's gonna have a profound moment where he realizes, you know what? The things that I needed were always with me. I never had to chase after you. You are gone. Goodbye. Fuck it, push her off a cliff or something. But like, right now, it's just like season one, bam. He's a simp. He's a fucking simp. He's a fucking simp, bro. He's with I Right? A, a season one bump. Truly, like, think about what kind of character he is. I put him in the fucking Rachel tier, bro. Him and Rachel can rot in hell together. That's kind of me. <laughs> I'm gonna put him in Rachel tier for now. Um, Mr. Blarouz. Who the fuck is this character? Uh, he is a character I think that was in Mr. Blue Turtle's bag. He was kind of useful. Nothing really... Impactful after that, right? We just smuggled him in within our OP bag that was never explained. And then he just kind of existed. I'm just I'm just gonna put him in mid for now. Katan. Mid. Very forgettable character. Like, who the fuck is this dude? Uh, one of the big blob dudes that was fighting in Crown Game. Again, very forgettable. I don't even know of anything but important. I think he, I think he got, like, off-screened. I'm gonna put him there. Chung Chung. Another mid character. Like... This dude's all his thing was I jump really fast. He's pretty trash, bro. Little scroll looking thing during crown games. He got dunked on mid tier. Concho. Um, Concho was a little bit more memorable, I guess. Right? He, he was a little bit more memorable. He showed up more often, but he's still kind of mid. Like what? He, is, is Concho that important to you guys? In the webtoon, apparently he actually like was 
No, did he get more scenes in the webtoon? I'm not sure. But did he cancel? It's hot, bro. <laughs> you know, he is a discount cut. Hold up. He is a discount hot. You're right. Mid. Next. Endorsey. Um. I'm gonna put Endorsey in great tier for now. Uh, all, all these different ratings will change by the end when we have all the different positions, and then I will scale them relative to each other. I will put her in great tier. Apparently, her character was kind of butchered in the anime. The things that she learned with Bomb about being alone and you know, being wanting to help others, and eventually opening up to Anak and them, you know, having a great sibling ship was a great moment that was apparently skipped in the anime, and she just kind of did it. Um, she just fan service in the anime, huh? She's a terrible character in terms of her personality because of how she had to grow up in a kill or be killed environment, right? Completely narcissistic, completely egoist, just looks down on other people because that's the only way that she knew how to live. But then after, you know, traveling with, you know, the rest of the team and understanding what friendship could be, she starts to blossom more. I think I'll put her in great tier for now. Evan. Good? What did he do? Evan gave us a the black ball in the beginning, and then after that, all he was was the Masaches fan service where he gets stepped on by Yuri so that everyone else can be like, oh my god, I want to be like Evan. Um uh, helped Yuri have screen time. You're right. Evan's sole purpose was to have Yuri dominatrix scenes. For that reason, I will put Evan in the good tier. Gray is a character that was also just pointless. No, 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 no. Yeah, 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 yeah. She was one of this, right? She was a Shinsu controller, but she was one of the three that we smuggled in together. And she's honestly quite forgettable. I don't think she served any greater purpose. I'd probably put these guys down here, right? Yeah, this is the, probably the way that I would order these characters in the mid tier. Yeah, just another tool. Nothing really memorable. There's a lot of characters in Tower of God, and it's obviously hard to, you know give them all the development they need and not everyone is gonna be an important character that's why they're kind of just just a tool that kind of exists there i'll just i'll just put gray there yuhan song peak tier eyes into the show this guy blew my mind from the beginning he orchestrated everything episode 13 was a chilling realization from rachel's pov of what he was doing behind the scenes absolute peak amazing character op as fuck you saw his anime powers and like, he's so cocky. He's so just condescending because he is him. I want to see more of him. Oh my God. And he's a part of Fug and he's training Bomb to be a Slayer. Like he is peak, peak, peak. Instant coffee fan, instant coffee advertisement. He, he, is, he had a lot of instant coffee advertisement. The only fault of Yu Han Sung is he's short. You can't be perfect. Yeah, you can't have everything. He's got the wits. He's got the power. He's got the looks. He's got the charisma. He's got everything. He doesn't have the height, though. That's, that's the one thing. And I think he has a little bit of a Napoleon syndrome. Remember when he made Rack really tiny? Because, like, Rack was like, Oh, I bumped into you. I didn't see you down there. And Yuhan Sung was like, Oh, yeah, you want to do it like that? He's a little petty like that, too, right? So, petty short king. I'm going to put him in peak tier, bro. Hot. Um, I can't put him in the mid tier because Hancho is only in mid tier because he's a discount hot. So I got to put him in good tier. Um, I don't think he's a great tier. Is he a great tier? Let me think about it. Warrior's code. The banter he has with Blue Turtle. Anak, hot, Shibisu. I'm going to put him in. I'm going to put him here. No, I'm going to put him at the bottom of great tier. I'm, I'm going to put it there. The things that he showed me... It was pretty fun. Every time he was there, like, it was pretty fun. Cool swordsman, cool techniques. He's got the high sword. He's got the low sword. Crazy Nitori stuff. He uses a sword even though a sword is already a, um, a disadvantage in the tower due to the Shinsu resistance. That's why needles are more sought after because a needle has less surface area to, you know, attack, right? That's the whole thing. But he still uses a sword. The banter with Blue Turtle constantly calling him Mr. Earrings. Having the warrior's code. Yeah, I'll, I'll put him in bottom of great tier, if not top of good tier. I think he can be here for now. Head on. Probably peak or great. He doesn't have much screen time, but the scenes that he had was so impactful. Head on was another character like Aizen. In fact, Head on is the one that gave Yu Han Sung the script to follow. 
I think he's another godlike character that he didn't have a lot of scenes, but the scenes that he was in was insane. He also called Rachel that you're ugly and that you're cringe. And for those reasons, I got to put him in peak tier. Ho. Rachel tier. Rachel tier. Trash character. Insecure motherfucker. Thought that he was all that was actually nothing. Was simping for a bomb, saying, oh, let's be good friends. But at the end of the day, he was so jealous. He didn't realize what to do of his own shortcomings. And instead of being a Serena, he decided to stab Rachel. In fact, he stabbed Rachel. Hold the fuck up. He stabbed Rachel. Let's hold up. Hold. Wait, 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 wait. He stabbed Rachel. I gotta double think about this shit. Even though he's a piece of shit character, because he stabbed Rachel... I'm willing to put him in the top of peak right now. Let's do that. For now? For now, let's put him in peak just because he stabbed Rachel. Okay, that's what I'm doing. Yep. Quadion, peak. Quadion, peak, peak, peak. I think that of all the girl designs, aside from maybe Yuri and Black March, Quadion is more attractive to me than Endorsey. I'm going to say it. Hot take. I think Huarion over Endorsey. I'm sorry. I think that Huarion is more mature, even though Endorsey is probably older. I, I think I just like long hair more than short hair. I'm not sure what it is. Huarion, the gimp suit. Oh my god. The cool nature, the mystery of Huarion. I loved her, bro. She was so cool. She's a guide navigator, red witch, great, you know, lore context. And then also part of Fug, you know, Yu Han Sang's group. I'm putting there. I'm putting her. And she tried to hit Rachel in the bunk. Remember? She tried to go for the headshot on Rachel. Don't forget that in the crown game. Yep. Gonna put her at peak tier. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Who the fuck are you, Hyun? Is this the guy that was gonna charge up his weapon? Is that him? Was was he the as soon as I charge up my inferno punch? Is was it this guy? The Inferno Punch didn't even make it to the tier list, by the way. I He fought Hots. He doesn't exist. Where is he? The Inferno Punch didn't even make it to the list. Um, hey. Mid. Mid. I don't even remember what he did. Mid, bro. Um, This guy? I don't even know. Like, Blue Turtle Blueberry showed up at the end as, you know, Blue Turtle's brother. He says some cool lines and left like he's not mid but like you know like 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 I, I just don't know him i just don't know him right it's like i i guess doesn't that mean he should be in mid then like i don't know him nobody knows him. he showed up for a bit like and he kind of shit on you know blue turtle for a bit like i i i don't know he's always in the background scene he exists for yuri okay if we put Evan in the good tier because he existed just for Yuri to show up, then the same can be said about Blue Turtle here. So I'm going to put him in the same tier with Evan. Uh, Blue Turtle, peak tier. Peak tier. Peak tier. Blue Turtle, so cunning, so smart. Oh my god, his best moments? I don't even know. Immediately, he was so cool and so smart. You could just feel that he is different. Starting from episode two, right? It was just so different. He's so cool, so mysterious. And he thinks about Bomb, right? He thinks about Bomb and the way that he was mistreated by Maria and the way that Bomb chases after Rachel. The way that he was so disrespectful during the crown game, you know? Just sitting on the crown and all the fake crowns he just threw it on the ground. What else? Man, like, um, the whole tag game. The tag game and how Blue Turtle just, like, Oscar-winning acting, you know, making a scene like, I'm sorry, guys, we did our best, but Quant was too good. But, like, Quant just all being manipulated by Blue Turtle, it was so good. He is truly one of the smartest characters in this show. He should be in class in the Elite, bro. Blue Turtle, fantastic character. Leon the third mid character, uh, another character where oh this guy is the Gara character with the his weapon was like a super inflatable thing. I don't know, he, he just kind of exists. I don't really know. He just he just Gara the sand, but you know he's a light bearer. Other than that, he was kind of used as a tool in you know the tag game. Yeah, mid. Letero, Edoro? Hey, what the fuck is Edoro, bro? I put 
Eroro in uh, great tier. Um, the scenes that he had at the beginning, like he had a very iconic line, remember? A monster has arrived, right? Oh man, that episode with the Shinsu test and him just destroying the snapper guy, amazing moment as well. One of the few people that was on to Yu Han Sung's plot, right? He, he already knew something was off there, right? Um, besides that he didn't get any other screen time, he had a lot of personality show up during the tag game. His voice acting completely changed. He was having a Joker moment. Like, bro was having the time of his life during the tag game. I'll put him in the bottom of great tier. He was like a pretty fun character. He was. Lowry? Probably like great tier, right? I don't know if he should be peaked here. He might low-key be peaked here. He's just like sleeping the entire time and passes every test. Because he got crazy Shinsu control. And I hear that he naps because like it takes so much energy to use Shinsu. So he's constantly reverse reserving his energy. I don't know how true that is. Lare also comes from one of the 10 great clans as well, I think. Um, He's either like in peak or like top of great. I'm not sure, right? I'm not sure. I'm gonna place him at the top of great tier for now. He was an amazing character for sure. He had a lot of impactful moments with just basically just... The crown game when he shot the Shinsu Blast and also the tag game when he was used to kind of, you know, boost Quant to get back up, right? That was some really cool moments. Who the fuck is this? Hold up. Miss Ice Strawberry. Who? I'm sorry, I don't remember Miss Ice Strawberry. Oh, wait! Test, um, test, uh, pra w w was she the proctor of a different test? The one where people were falling down? No, 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 that person had like, um, she had like a, a, a goggle on, right? Looking on a visor. Yuri Zod's group? I have no clue. I've never seen her. I've never, I, I don't think I've seen her. I remember. I'm gonna put her on mid because I don't know who the fuck she is, bro. The most unapologetic goat of Tower of God, <laughs> Paracule, <laughs> the revolutionary of Spearfair. <laughs> oh fuck! It's ah, he's ah, he is so unapologetic in who he is. He's an absolute douchebag. Doesn't know how to read the room. When everyone's crying about bum, Paracule's like, he's like, can I go now? <laughs> <laughs> in the same I'll, I'll put him at the bottom of the peak because of how meme he was he was a meme character truly a meme character he had no business passing the test yet he did he's a character that is perfectly like the epitome of what it means to fail upwards bro kept failing upwards it is unbelievable how much plot armor this guy has he just keeps making it through, though. You got to respect the hustle at a certain point, huh? Quant? Eh, I'll put him in good tier, I guess. I don't know. Quant was a um, hothead. Eh, I, I, I honestly thought he was mid. He's just a hothead dumb. Strong. Cool. Stupid. Brash. Fun. Good. I think he's good tier. I don't know. There's nothing that stood up. He just, he's, he's, he's not a giga brain. He just gets really hot headed when, you know, fighting against these other tutorial members. He was behind the, remember on the first floor where, you know, Mr. Ghost killed everybody for Rachel and then Dorsey was there too. Quant let it happen, by the way. Quant let that happen. Just remember. We'll get to her later. Rack can go to top peak tier. I love Rack. Rack may be one of my favorite characters in this show. And I think that a lot of people love Rack because he is just an unapologetic alligator. A crocodile? Who knows? And he's not the smartest, smartest, but he's also not he, he's got this like animal instinct. He knows what's good deep inside, even though he's not mentally like 9,000 IQ. 
he can give the answers to Blue Turtle when Blue Turtle hesitates because Rack simply believes in his heart and his heart is telling him what is right. I love Rack. I love the cunning moments of when he's eating chocolates. I love it when he turned, you know, tiny Rack mode. We got ourselves a Rack merch, bro. I swear to God, we got to get ourselves a Rack plushie, man. He's an incredibly strong spear bearer. And it also was funny when he decided to go on his own, you know, training arc, remember? <laughs> he's like, he failed in, in the initial test. When Ghost passed, and he was like, damn, I gotta go on my own journey for a bit. Then he came back, then he was one of the few that passed, and he was, like, flexing on everybody else. I love Rack as a character. I hope he continues to get the screen time that he deserves. He's also one of the best chilling moments emotionally was his cry at the end of Season 1. The cry that he had for Bum. Remember when everyone was, like, lamenting and, like, grieving? That cry, the voice actor, it's like, Mwah, just perfect. He just... Puts things into that cry that I, that emotionally just felt right. Rack is a fantastic character. Ren, good, I guess. I don't know. He's a villain, creepy ass motherfucker. I don't really like him. I don't really hate him either. He's a villain. He served his purpose. Mid maybe. I don't know. He just. I don't know. He's just creepy. I don't know. He's like meh, right? There's nothing memorable. He existed. He was a villain. He was a tool. He is a tool. He's simply a tool that existed for that conflict at the end. And also being a Zahad eyes and keeping an eye on so that, you know, Yu Han Sung isn't doing anything shady. He gave Yuri badass scenes. He gave Anakin, you know, um, endorse the great scenes too. He also gave Shibisu some great scenes. I'll put him here. I'll put him here. He had his moment. It's not fair. Like, all these other characters, like, who the fuck were they really, right? Ren had a purpose. Yeah, I'll put him there. She is fan service. She literally existed for fan service, and the only reason that she could use Shinsu was because of her item that allowed Shinsu manipulation. She's just fan service character, mid. Listen. If you enjoy good storytelling, you're gonna say that Serena is a peak character. Like, unironically. Straight up. What she represents in this story is so relatable to the common people that's watching this show, which is like 99% of the audience watching. She represents what it means to be average and not being able to follow your dreams. And it's a... It's such a difficult thing to accept. But in order to overcome that and realize that, different, that there's different things in life that you can pursue, I think that it's the Serena's chapter may have ended in Tower of God, but you know, she can begin a different chapter of her life somewhere else, right? I thought that anime's portrayal of Serena was actually fucking amazing. I'm gonna put Serena over here. Serena is the audience. Well, not everybody, but like Serena, I think represents like everybody can relate to Serena because everybody at some point, you know, felt like this way. So I'm gonna put her there. Shibisu Loki Peak, is he not? Shibisu Loki Peak. Somehow this dude is just so smart. Like he's not a me he is a meme character, but then he has killer arts, martial arts. Like, bro has some great moments. I I enjoyed him a lot. Like, fuck, I loved how smart he is, man. Like, Shibisu, oh his wits, like he has a different type of intellect compared to um Blue Turtle, right? Blue Turtle is all about espionage and deceit and you know, um, different plans like that. Shibisu is just like a better puzzle solver. Just like better at just like deconstructing what's going on. Like, I think Blue Turtle's good at manipulating deceit. Shibisu is just like an IQ god. I, I think that like Shibisu straight up, like he understood the assignment during Yuhan Sung's red, you know, red door test. So I, I think Shibisu, like he is one of my favorite characters for sure. I, I comfortably put him in peak tier. Mid. You existed for no reason other than to be a tool in the end of the test arc, and you don't even show up later on, just like your knight. Goodbye. Yuri Zahad! Uh, fan service. Ah, uh, she was cool. She gave us Black March. She's so cool. Yuri is so cool. So powerful, right? Big sister waifu. Oh my goodness, man. Yuri Su. Yuri is truly so fucking good, man. I love Yuri. Best Girl Season 1? probably a lot of people's best troll season one but if you think about it what, she, what does she really do all she's doing is thirsting after a, a freshman she's a super senior 
that's doing nothing with her life other than, you know, creeping a, a freshman. She's a super senior, bro. She, she ain't got nothing better to do. She's just talking bomb. <laughs> I enjoyed her character. She was fun, super strong, and Zahad Princess as well. For sure. She's in peak tier. I'm, I'm, going to re, uh, I'm going to reposition all these different characters at the end here. Hold on a second. Rachel? Fuck you. D need I say more? Need I say more? Bomb, you simping over this girl is why you're in Rachel tier together. You can suffer together both in hell. I'm, I'm gonna put Bomb and Rachel together so he can be with her. Simp all you want, bro. All right, let's rearrange this tier list now. Now that we have like a draft of like where characters should go, not everyone can be in peak like that, right? So let's let's start like bringing characters down. So I think that everyone in mid here exists in mid because they're just a forgettable character. They served one purpose. They're a tool and has no implications for the future. I think that's fair. There's too many characters in peak that we need to drop down to the great tier. Let's start with Ho. Like Ho, uh, uh, Ho and Paracule. These are mean fucking characters, right? So let's let's create an another character. Let, let's let's um. Add a row below called meme, right? These are fucking meme characters, right? Wait, what the fuck? No, 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 no. This is peak. And then this is mid. Meme. Meme characters are like fucking Paracule and Ho, right? Like, why does Paracule get in there? Because Paracule fucking stabs. Like, Paracule is just revolutionary. <laughs> he just fails upwards and Ho... Ho stabbed Rachel. The only reason, you know, Ho is up this high is because Ho stabbed Rachel. If Ho didn't stab Rachel... Ho would be down here. He's a trash character, dude. But like, because he stabbed Rachel, <laughs> I'm gonna put it up here. Um, there's too many characters and peak still. Um, I think Serena really deserves her place. I think she does. Head on. I think that head on can get dropped down to great tier because like head on doesn't get enough screen time. The things that he was in was very impactful. But, like, does he really deserve to be in the top peak tier? I don't think so. I think that while I can admit that he was one of the giga brains behind the, you know, the plot with Fug, he probably is a Fug member. Just because he doesn't have enough screen time. He called Rachel cringe, though. He said, Rachel, you are ugly, repugnant, cringe, ew. For that reason, I'll put him in meme tier. Yep, another character where, yeah, 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 I'll put him here. Yeah, I will. Um... Quadion, I think she deserves here. Serena, I think she does. Rack, Yuhan Sung, Yak, Blue Turtle, Shibisu Yuri. It's a lot. Ah. Fuck. Fuck. Mm. They are really peak though. They they are really peak. Like, these characters are genuinely all amazing. I think they're a, they're a different like and, and Dorsey. From the anime portrayal, I don't think Endorse is as good, bro. Like, straight up, Serena has better writing than Endorse. I genuinely think that. Anak, it doesn't mean Great Tier is bad. Great Tier is great. Is this the final list then? I think everyone in mid tier deserves to be in mid. Ren just exists to be a villain. I don't really know you. You, you, you two existed just to give, you know, Yuri Zahad scenes. Um, I kind of had a fondness for, you know, Ghost because he was just like a silent giant who was kind of funny later and then disappeared, unfortunately. Does that not mean that he should be in the meme tier then? He's a meme tier character, is he not? He is a meme tier character, isn't he? Because like I like him until Rachel got stabbed and you know he had to die. He doesn't really have any other scene, he just kind of existed and was a big boy then had some cunning moments with Rack. I'll put him in meme tier. Like, like, yeah, I'd put him in meme tier. What else? Lowry, I feel like sh uh, I think Lowry can comfortably sit at the top of great tier. Is there anyone in peak though that should drop down? Is there anyone in peak tier that should drop down? I don't think Hots is a common guy, dude. Compared to Shibisu, I do not think Hots is a common dude, bro. Do you remember Hots' party? Hots, Anak, Shibisu. Hats and Anak were league in a, in a different fucking league. Shibisu was the average person, bro. Like, I don't think Hats is average at all. I think Shibisu is average if you're talking about, like, combat capability. I don't care if he comes from nowhere. So does Shibisu. You're unironically to say that Hats is more average, more common than Shibisu? I think you're delusional, bro. You are probably like a Hots fanboy that's read the fucking Hots wiki. And you probably have a fucking Hots, like, fan club Twitter account. But if you really look at the anime, like, I do not think he's average. 
I think he's definitely above average. For sure he is. Any other character, they deserve peak tier. They really do. Ah, uh, should I drop Shibisu to great? Oh, Shibisu was so good though. I want to put Shibisu and Serena together. I want to put Shibisu and Serena together. And I want to put, you know, Blue Turtle and Rack together. Bomb can fucking rot in hell with Rachel because he's simping too much. Yuri's just Yuri, so she deserves top spot. Uh, I think this is it. Right? We got our meme tier characters. We got the actual great characters. We have good characters that just kind of exist. I don't know. They're more than just a tool. These are all just tools. And Rachel's exists in Rachel tier because she's Rachel. And Bomb just simps too much. Listen. I like Bomb. Bomb pops off, right? Like, 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 let's get serious for a second. But I hate, and I know that this is his character. This is, I understand why he simps. And in order for him to have character development, you need to start him here. But if we're just judging characters of tier, like, you know, Tower of God Season 1 tier list, I'm gonna put him in Rachel tier. Because, like, you simped so hard for a girl that has nothing to do with you. She wants nothing of you. You get pushed up. I feel like you deserve where you belong like you did this to yourself i'm not gonna put you anywhere above i like bomb but simping puts him in rachel tier i think this is my final season one tower of god tier list there might be a little bit too many characters in the peak tier i probably should have a little bit more drop down to the great tier but all of these characters genuinely were great yuri zahad peak fan service also zahad princess blue turtle top 10 family rooting for a bomb genius rack instinctively from the power of the heart good guy yuhan sung aizen giga brain puppeteer the entire show hwadian one of the most beautiful characters in the show navigator guide also try to bonk rachel serena one probably one of the best written characters with the book close to completely you know end her character uh, character story and shibisu again just giga brain average as fuck but somehow holding up there meme tier for getting stabbed I like them cunning moments. Head on, called Rachel trash. <laughs> Ho, stabbed Rachel. <laughs> Paracule, um, um, revolutionary. And everyone else, these are also great characters. And that's pretty much it. This is my final tier list of season one of characters that I truly enjoyed. And if you want to be mad that Bama's down here, fuck you. You a simp.